vernacular here. So um, my name's Lee. I am a guide. I reside in Atlanta, Georgia. And what we're going to do here today, I thought we'd break it up into three different sections. I'm going to give you a, an overview through the presentation, the slides you see here today. And then we're going to get into how to actually uh, use the platform and to uh, schedule classes on the website. And then we'll spend a few minutes at the end uh, going over how to actually access it on your mobile device. So you'll get it, you'll actually see this three times and I think that'll be helpful. And I wanna make sure that you ask as many questions as you want during, uh, during this presentation, because we're just here for you. We wanna make sure that you're comfortable and that you can get up and going and start scheduling your classes. So please feel free to either use the chat channel, whatever you're comfortable with, or just raise your hand or just shout out. We're here to answer as many questions and uh, make you guys as comfortable as possible. So uh, also to let you know, after every class, we always send out notes. So we will send out notes after class here today. Uh, this class is being re recorded and we will probably send out the link for people that were not able to attend here today. So let's, uh, let's jump into this. So um, I wanted to give a brief overview of what Get Set Up is, and I'm gonna show a brief video. Let me see if I can find that here. Um, I got a lot open. Um, here we go. So you may need to turn up your volume on your computer, and I'm just gonna show this brief overview that is on our main website. Welcome to Get Set Up. Are you ready to make learning your superpower and meet new friends? Here at Get Set Up, we've created a vibrant community that participates together in live classes instructed by older adults. But it's more than classes. It's also about making connections. Unlike other learning platforms on Get Set Up, you ask questions, talk with instructors, and share experiences with other participants. And there are more ways to get involved. You can lead a discussion group or host your own social hour. If you have a passion, you will find others on Get Set Up to share it with. We are the fastest growing online community for older adults learning and having fun together. To join our community, start by taking a class and unlock your own superpowers. Okay, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of uh, our uh, of Get Set Up and what we're going to be talking about here today. So uh, we're just going to run through this overview real quickly, and then we're going to dive into this uh, live on uh, the computer just so you can see what it looks like. So you would actually go to, to the website, getsetup.org or getsetup.io. Uh, register. If you've not registered already, we'll need your name and uh, email address at minimum. If you would like to share your uh, phone for text messaging, that would be great as well. And then, uh, um, so after that, once you decide, we're going to go through on how to schedule a class. But once you schedule a class, this is a screen that will pop up and you can actually choose which calendar you want it to go to electronically. So it can go to your Gmail calendar, Yahoo, Outlook calendar, uh, iCal calendar if you use Apple. Um, so you can choose and it will just automatically populate into your calendar, your electronic calendar, just to give you an idea. All right. You also have the capability to invite a friend. So if you log on to a class and you say, hey, you know, I'd like to take this class with a friend or a family member or a coworker, what have you, we make it very easy to invite friends and, and coworkers and family members. Okay. And then, um, so you log on, you go to the home screen, you go to schedule, you'll book a class. Again, the calendar will pop up. You choose which calendar you go to. At any time on all our pages, on all the website pages, there is a phone number at the very top screen in the right. And if you click on that number and dial that number, there's always a live person that will answer any technical issues, any issues that you're having. We always have a person there and standby. And you can also send an email to help at getsetup.io. So again, that phone number you'll always see in the top right corner. We'll also, uh, I'll show you, a, a, we'll dive into this a little bit more detail. We have a lounge. So when you first log in, 
you have the choice to go into the live studio, the live class, or hang out in the lounge. Um, we're able to participate by listening. You're in the listen mode, but you can also use the chat channel as well. This is for people that a, maybe just want to check the class out, don't want to turn on the video, uh, maybe have it on in the background, you know, whatever the case may be. It's kind of like hanging out in the back of the class and see if you want to uh, join in the live studio. So you'll have that option as well. And uh, our classes uh, right now, we have them in English, Mandarin, and Spanish, just to give you an idea. Not all classes, but uh, all of them are in English. We also have uh, quite a few in Mandarin and quite a few in Spanish as well. Uh, we have about four and a half million people on the system uh, monthly. So monthly users, about four and a half million people across the about 160 countries. So we are growing very, very fast. Um, hey, Lee. Yes. Hey, hi, it's Michelle. I think to that, if you go back to that language, one, uh, one yes. big language that is missing from this um, is yeah. Hindi. Hindi. So okay. get set up. India has quite a huge audience and there's also some additional kind of um, different dialects um, in India that are live on the site. But non-English programming, just for everyone in Nebraska, I know that I think Vietnamese had come up um, on one of our conversations that the programming this year will, will expand, um, but just know 100% Hindi is one of, is really kind of, I would say it's English and Hindi are the top two languages that we have right now. Thanks for having that, Michelle. No problem, thanks. <clears throat> So um, you sign up again, you can actually send a link to a friend or a family member to let them uh, jump into the class uh, and, and you can sign up a buddy. So let's just jump into the website. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what we're going to be talking about. And let's actually go to the website. This is the landing page. Uh, it is getsetup.io forward slash partner forward slash, 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 excuse me, Nebraska. So it's uh, partner forward slash Nebraska. Okay, you can see that in the top left corner and that's the landing page. And so I've registered on here, it would say your name up here with your initials. Uh, again, the 800 number is always in the top right corner. When you dial that number, you'll get a live person that will walk you through any technical issues, any problems that anybody's having from, you know, we get all sorts of calls. You know, I can't, I can't see this class from my flip phone or I got Windows 98, what do I do? So we've, we've seen a lot, <laughs> as you can imagine. But where you're gonna spend most of your time is on the left side here. Uh, the home is where we're at right now. You'll be looking for classes. Uh, we have stories. We always accept, we always solicit stories from the uh, community. We love to hear uh, learner stories and we actually uh, list those. So we're going to go from top to bottom here. This is the video that we just saw. It gives me a little bit of information of, you know, kind of a scoreboard of my activity on the system. This is what this is right here, how many days I've been here, how many classes I've taken, things like that. Any challenges I might be having, you know, challenges, maybe a, what we're doing, a walking challenge or cookbook or things like that. These things might pop up, but I'm going to search up here. And let's say if I want to, I'm interested in, in learning about Android classes. You know, I want to learn about my Android phone, for an example. I just go up here to type in Android and it'll go do a search. And at this point I can choose, you know, uh, well, you know, if I want to learn, you know, take a class for me, for instance, I can book the class. So let's just go here out of curiosity. I'm just going to choose a class here. I'm going to book it. And do I want to take it uh, uh, next week or the week after at 12 p.m.? And it gives you a little bit of description about the class, as you can see here, which is important. You know, hey, do I want to really check out this class? Who's it meant for? It's a beginner class. And then you can learn a little bit about the guide and who's teaching the class. So just kind of give you an overview of that. And I go, you know what? I'd like to book this class. So we're just gonna book it. And it comes up here and it automatically populates and says, oh, let's add it to my calendar. Or I can also invite a friend, again, friend or coworker, what have you. And then I choose, oh, I like to have it go to my Google calendar. It opens up my Google calendar. 
and it automatically populates. I say save, and it's already in my calendar, and I don't really have to worry about it. I don't have to write it down, or I could write it down if I want to. A lot of these people would like to write things down and have it in their address book. But the search bar is really powerful because you can search for classes that you're interested in or maybe guides that you're interested in. You know, people have a, like a following. I know people will follow me for a little bit and then, you know, get through all my classes and go find another guide that they like and they'll follow those guides. So um, this is another great way to uh, find classes or, or uh, different classes that guides teach that you like. So that's one way to do it. The other way is just going down here is when I click on classes on the left, I can also, my search bar is still here. I can look for days of the week. Maybe I say, you know, I got some time on Sunday. Why don't we click over here on Sunday and see if there's anything interested here, interesting here. Um, again, we've got classes in different languages. And so I can book the class just as we showed you. So that's one way to do it. Just go across the, uh, the calendar here. And then on the right side, this populates, this is new. Well, new uh, that you hadn't seen in the previous window. So I can look for categories. And I can also search for guides. That's another way to search for classes. So I'm just curious that so you may have to unmute yourself or chat whatever you're comfortable with here. And maybe if anybody would like to just shout out some uh, categories that they'd be interested in as they choose classes and we'll just see what populates here. If anybody wants to unmute themselves. Don't be shy, we're all in this together. I wanna to talk about my dog. Your dog, so animals, animals. Well, let's see if we have anything. I, I don't know if we do, we offer so many classes. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, I'm not seeing anything there, how about animals? Or pets, I'm not seeing anything. I haven't seen those classes yet, but that doesn't mean it don't exist. Well, they, um, one thing to note for everyone on this call is that currently the way that our program, Lee's well aware of this, right? Currently the way that the programming works is that you will only see results for classes that have booked for the next two weeks. Um, programming is looking to expand it out. So they, we do programming two weeks out at a time. So. If you don't see it, it's not, to Lee's point, it's not that it necessarily doesn't exist. It's just that it's not on the schedule. There actually is a an interest group that's led by Marv um, that is called, or social hour, I should say, that's called Talking About Dogs, where everybody does bring their dog <laughs> to the social hour, which is really great. But I'm guessing that he just doesn't have anything booked for the next two weeks. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen his before. Yeah, yeah. The other thing to note too, um, and this is just full transparency, only because um, I came out of uh, an offsite meeting with our, our co-founders and our head of programming and some other folks yesterday, um, is that currently our search results, like what you, what you saw um, Lee doing with keyword search results, there is a bug that is in the process of being resolved um, within the next week or sooner. So sometimes when you do, and this is just an, an unfortunate timing, I think of when this, um, this was being scheduled. So hopefully for those um, viewers that are seeing this later after the recording is done and today's over, that, that that search result issue will be resolved. So just know that that's, that's something that's a known issue and that they've, they've escalated. It was a big topic of conversation, so. So uh, any other subjects besides dogs right now? We'll see what else we can get. Anybody else would like to unmute themselves or just let, let me know and we'll do a search. How about uh, anything with cooking or baking? Cooking, okay. So you see we have a category here, cooking. Let's see, we got anything for baking, okay. So we've got a class uh, on uh, Sunday view on Monday, plant-based cookbook. I, I, I know what your interest is, but um, you mentioned baking. So quite a few classes, the uh, cooking classes, uh, exercise classes are all very, very popular. Um, those are some of the most popular ones. Also the traveling. Also wanna let you know that we also, um, Marv, 
who you, uh, Amy, I think has maybe been on a class or so, uh, teaches a beginning get set up class. We also uh, recommend that um, for anybody that's new onto the system, just to get you an overview of how this all works so you can get hit again on that. So uh, I'm just curious on baking just for my own edification. Yeah, so the search is a little a little off right now. Yeah, I think that's that's a problem with that. Um, the one thing, if you go back to the category page, um, classes right there. So if you want to scroll down, Lee, the thing I think is really good for this group. Um, oops, sorry. Food. Uh, f there's a food and nutrition category as well, which might seem a little bit redundant to cooking, but sometimes what Deb will do is she'll have she'll have um, cooking demonstrations. There's also topics about you know, like here's, here's a really great one, right? Like healthy meals on a budget, detox, detox salads. So there's categories that are kind of larger buckets. And then there's categories that are a little bit more detailed. This is really great for those of you that run programs about nutrition, um, that it's there, right? So that's been um, vetted and it, it, it's not necessarily just an algorithm, but humans are behind how certain categories are allocated towards these type of subject matters. That, that stemmed a question in me um, for doing like a nutrition type, you know, class or things. Is it meant specifically for one-on-one -on -one, or is this something like in a senior center setting where we could sign up for the class and then have the class, have multiple people there? The classes are, you know, as you know, all the classes are live. And so there are people uh, logging in from any, any part of the globe. So you'll see people from all walks of life, from every, every country. Well, but I just mean, I just mean only one person would be logging in. Let's just say I logged in, right. but I had five people watching with me. Is that right? Yeah. So I think, um, well, I guess it's, it's a couple of things, right? Like there's, there's instances, I hear what you're saying. So there's instances where maybe they, they either don't have a device or it's in a group setting. Um, the preference, you know, always is, is to have, you know, one, each person on there. So then we're, we're, you know, able to track, you know, are they getting the right experience? You know, there's customized and personalization in terms of their account, but in the instance where that's not a appropriate, yeah, there's definitely certain classes that lend itself more to a group setting. Um, so what I would do, like, so if you pull, if you go into one of these class descriptions, um, so say take healthy meals on the budget or, oh yeah, cookbook project. So that's really like a discussion. So if you scroll down and look at the, the class description and what it covers, how it works, um, you know, then that is, that'll let you know more if it's applicable to a one-on-one -on -one learning. Like I would say rightly like a technology type of class that's showing you how to use your device um, would be a little bit harder unless they have their devices with them, right? And Lee, you run other classes that may, may you know, outside of cooking, may lend itself more to a group setting if you wanna. Um, yeah, so yeah, here's, here's an idea, Rachel, maybe to answer your question. So I teach a, a technology classes, I teach some finance and, and healthcare classes as well. And generally speaking, the classes can run anywhere from, you know, maybe five people all the way up to 25 or 45 people. It just really depends, but when you get into, technology and teaching people how to use the phones, the classes seem to be a little bit smaller. And, um, but on occasions you just, you know, you never know, you know, who shows up and, you know, the more the merrier. Um, and um, I also have classes where they're projecting, maybe they're, they're a senior home or long-term living facility or what have you. We're in the lunch room or the community room and they're projecting us up on the, on the, the large screen for people to, you know, to view. So it really depends, but most of the people are logging on from their phones, tablets, or computers, any of their smart devices. Okay. I think one thing to add here that it is so cool that some of the things that I've experienced that get set up is uh, I had a lady at a senior home. Uh, this was a few months ago. She had had a stroke. She recovered great. 
Her kids bought her a uh, Android watch to detect if she had fallen down and she wanted the watch and her phone and her computer to synchronize for uh, her medications to remind her when to take her meds. And she had come to a couple of classes and she says, Lee, I just can't get the calendar to synchronize and I can't figure it out. And she was just a sweet woman. And I said, you know what, uh, Betty, hang back and I'll, we'll spend a few extra minutes after class here today and see if we can get through this. And I had three other learners in the class at the same time said, Lee, we'll hang with you and see if we can help her as well. And I thought, wow, this is the power of this platform because we all came together and we all helped her within less than 10 minutes. We had her up and going and everything was synchronizing. And, you know, where, where could she get this help? She couldn't, you know, she was in her late 80s and there was really nobody around. It was technical that could help her out. And she was just so relieved. And of course, you know, obviously getting her meds on the right time uh, was, was really critical. But this is really the power of the platform. These people don't come to just watch. They come to learn, but they learn by doing. And this is, this is what this platform offers. And this is the exciting part for all of us. And I think what motivates us as, um, as we do these classes. So uh, there's a lot to choose from, but we'll just go back to the home here on the left side. We're back on the main page here. Okay, we'll go back here. All right, so anyway, you've got the 800 number. You can always call somebody. Uh, again, you can do the search up here. As we mentioned, we're working on some of those things right now that we know there is a, a, a little bit of a bug here. Gives me a little scoreboard, scoreboard of my activity, which is kind of fun. Um, and then you can also see classes that uh, you can book immediately right online that are featured classes, just to give you an idea. Um, here's that April 5th one, if I want to enter that class, if I can do that. There's also classes that are live. You can also just jump on a class right here, and we'll do that. We'll just jump into a class, and I want to show you something here in the lounge. Um, but let's just jump into the new members lounge class just to give you an idea, see if we can do this. And down here, I want to show you right here on the right side. So again, I can join Zoom, which is joining the live studio class. I can do that or just hang out in the lounge. That's what we're doing right now. We're in the lounge. Welcome to the Get Set Up Lounge. This is Let me uh, make this larger so you can see it. And this is a brief overview of the lounge. So please turn up your volume again. Before class starts, you can get to know other class participants by using the chat function. Click the info button to get to know more about your guide. And under explore, discover more classes picked especially for you. When it's time for your class to start, you'll experience it right here in the lounge. Use the chat to ask questions and share your thoughts. And have some fun with the new emojis. Some of you might see a button to enter the studio. This is how you can launch Zoom and enter our studio with the guide. Just want to follow along and ask questions via chat and sit back and enjoy. When class ends, keep the conversation going in the chat. We hope you have lots of fun in the lounge. Welcome to the Get Set Up Lounge. This is your home base for. So that's uh, we can actually enter the class or we can just hang out in the lounge and just watch and we can participate by chatting. And we can do that during class, and we can also hang out after class and do some chatting as well. Okay, so the lounge the, brings you to some other opportunities as well to interact on the system. Let me just go back here. Welcome to the get. Welcome to the get. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the get, get, get Setup, setup lounge. lounge. This is this your, is your home, home base for joining a live class back. and building, building connections with people, people share. All right. Let's go back here. All right, so we're back on the home page here. And again, we just went through this. Again, you've got your search up here, classes down here. You can enter live classes if you wanna just go check out things and it tells you where we are that, you know, we're 30 minutes into the class, all classes are an hour. Some go a little less um, depending on the subject matter and you know, the different questions that people ask, but generally speaking, classes are about an hour, okay? 
And there's some classes that are coming up soon. Maybe you got some time, so, you know, maybe I will go visit a national park, you know, that'd be kind of fun or, you know, maybe learn about Microsoft, some technical. So again, the travel classes, technology classes, uh, cooking classes, exercise classes, all very, very popular. So a lot to uh, cruise around and, you know, you can look for guides. Maybe there's guides that you say, hey, I'd like to check out some more of Lee's classes or Bernadette or Pilar's class or, you know, whatever the case may be. You can look at that as well. And then we can search for classes here on the left and in the, in the app that, you'll, that I'll run you through works very, very similar. So it's not really much different. But again, I can do my search up here. We're working on that one. Days of the week, maybe I've got some time. And then I can filter classes or guides here on the right, okay? And it also gives me the live classes that are going on right here as well. And then just going down on the left side, kind of the table of contents, these are stories. Uh, if you haven't seen this yet, it's really incredible. Some of the stories that uh, people share with us, here we go, we got a story about uh, your state right here, but different stories that people have shared with us that uh, are really, really amazing. I had a class that I taught, oh, I guess about a year ago, and it was two ladies that landed up in my class. They were best friends 50 years ago, and they landed up my class at the same time, and we had learners from uh, Africa, Ireland, uh, India, and these two ladies found each other again, got reacquainted, and found out that they lived in Chicago, and they shopped at the same grocery store. And it was so cool they landed up in this platform and this class at the same time. So that was really, really cool. So um, lots of stories here, uh, news tidbits, uh, press releases, things like that about uh, uh, Get Set Up, just to give you an idea. Uh, let me go back here again. And then the menu down here on the left, uh, don't really get too far into that, but we, you know, it gives a little bit more information about Get Set Up if you want to buy some paraphernalia like shirts, hats, coffee cups, things like that, which is kind of fun. But most of us will spend time in the home and the class area. That's where you'll spend most of your time and then filtering classes or guides. So any questions that you may have, anything pops up. Does anybody- yeah, Haley, there's one in the class? chat. Yeah, you can use the chat on the right side of your screen or just, uh, you know, if you got something, yeah. you can- Yeah, so Cynthia ha actually posted a question. Can you set oh, a okay. reminder for classes that you are interested in that are not yet posted? Can you set a reminder for classes that you're not interested in, not yet posted? Um, I don't think we can do that yet, Michelle. Do you, have you, I, I've not seen that yet. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, that's actually a really good question. I, I didn't know if you knew the, the answer to that because um, when we when you do register for a class it, that's on the schedule, um, it will you have then an option to put it on your calendar. Um, and there are reminders that are so what generally happens after you book a class is that there's an email that goes out just confirming that you received it. And then, then an email will go out, I think, um, a day before your class and then an hour before your class. But I don't believe that there is, I know for sure there isn't a, um, if we, you don't see it now, that there isn't a product feature now where you can set a reminder through the website or through the mobile app. Uh, but it is actually a really wonderful product request to consider. Um, yeah, that's that a big we question. should take back to the team. And it might actually be on a roadmap that I'm not aware of. It didn't come up in our discussions yesterday with the founders, um, but we can assets. But there are ways that we do that through, through our system, our email system to send out and let um, learners know to confirm that they, they signed up and then a couple before the class actually starts. I, I think she meant it more like like the whole dogs, if there was not one about dogs, could, is there a way to say if a class comes up about dogs, can I be notified? Yeah, let, right let now. So, yeah, okay, go ahead. go ahead, Michelle. No, I was just going to say right now there, there, there isn't in the system, um, but we can go back and, and ask if that's something great, that they that's have. That's a great question. Yeah. 
It is it, weird. It, 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 which brings up a good question, Rachel, and that is, uh, how do we come up with these classes? I mean, we have so many, we have thousands of classes. How do we come up with them? It's actually the learners. The learners and the guides submit these classes and these ideas, and we submit it, and we'll put it up on our website, and we'll say class coming soon. If we get 50 or so, you know, people that want to take the class, then we'll spin up the class. And, you know, week to two weeks, we'll spin it up, and we'll offer the class. So that's how we come, you know, to, you know, having all these thousands of classes. So if there's a class on dogs or cats or goldfish or whatever it is, and you're interested in, it's important to you, then let us know. We, we always ask at the end of our classes, if people have ideas, um, let us know. You know, this is not, uh, uh, you know, classes are constantly changing, constantly We're offering new classes all the time. So there's always something new, but I think uh, we'll, we'll take that up for, uh, the reminder of classes that you're interested in or, or if it's coming around again. So that's great. That great question. Anybody else? Okay. Yeah, there's a couple more questions in the chat. Okay. What are so, the security for the classes? Well, we, we take a lot of, uh, we go to a, a lot of ends to make sure that our classes are very, very secure. It's really, really important that uh, all our learners are protected. Um, and that is one of the reasons that in all our classes, we always have a TA because as we're running classes, there's a lot of things going on. As if, you know, you've done Zoom meetings, there's a lot of stuff going on in your screen. And so we always have a TA that's watching over our shoulders for any bad actors that could possibly get on the system. Uh, I personally have taught for almost a year and a half, and I have, I have never had someone pop in my class that, that has done something, you know, that is a bad actor. Uh, has it happened? Yes, it's happened, but I have not heard of it happening in at least a, probably a year or so. Um, so that's one of the reasons we do have TAs, not only here for uh, technical assistance, but also to, to watch over our backs in case something gets out of control, we'll just shut it down or shut that person down. So if that answers your question. Okay. Um, can participants volunteer to be leaders for a new class? Absolutely. So yes. uh, where, where do we where do we get where do we get the guides? Where did we come from? <laughs> well, a lot of guides, not a lot, but a, a lot of the current guides have actually come from learners like you, you know, learners that are come to class and say, you know what, I'm a, I'm an ex-lawyer or a yoga teacher, or I was a chef, or you know, I, I want to reinvent myself or whatever the case may be. Well, you can co-host a class with a guide. So it's kind of a soft way to get into this and see if you're even comfortable and you want to do that. We'll train you up a little bit. And then if you want to become a guide, we have a very um, uh, pretty in-depth training program that we send everybody uh, that goes through the program to actually be a guide. So absolutely, we, uh, we encourage uh, our learners to become guides and also to maybe host a class or a subject that they're interested in. Uh, we have people all the time. We have guest speakers all the time. So if there's some subject, by all means, we'd love to have you be a, uh, a guide or even host a class or co-host a class. So absolutely, we, we highly encourage that. Hey, okay. Lee, can you show them where it is now under the menu? Just do a quick little mini live demo under menu. Um, but, but, but. Menu. And then the pop-up will come up and there's a host your own session right under your name and click on that. There, there you go. There you, can you, go. Just, <laughs> you can just fill so out where the this goes. Matter. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Where this goes is to our, our head of programming team and they take a look at that and they'll get in touch. So it's, it's a pretty short form, but like Lee said, right at the, at the bottom there, um, there's, you know, if you want to apply to be a host, to co-host, you know, more information. So if you scroll down a little bit more, Lee. Yeah, right there. I don't know, it's hard to see for me. I need my glasses. <laughs> uh, there, there's like four different roles there. So you want to be a guest speaker or refer a guest speaker. Um, you want to provide product or website feedback. Um, if you can click out of that real quick. So it's, it's the, uh, the check boxes right there. Yeah. You want to help prom promote and market get set up. So it's more than just hosting a session. We give the opportunity for learners to, to do have a few different roles. 
And also, you can always send us an email. We always uh, tell everybody at the end of class, always send an email to help it get set up. If you don't get notes, if you're interested in doing a class, that's another way you can reach out to us and say, hey, I'm interested in co-hosting or, or, or maybe uh, being a host or being a guide. That's another way, and we'll reach out to you as well. Okay. All right, thanks, Max. Uh, any, other, any other questions? All right. Good, good, good. All right. Let's go back here. All right, so we're back home and I'm gonna switch over to um, my phone. Let's see if we're still connected here and show you how the actual, uh, well, actually, let me, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's go over to the phone. We'll switch that. So this is just the, the phone app. This is a, a link that we'll, we'll, we'll um, send to you so you can make sure you can download this. And all you have to do is I have two icons here, but we're gonna go to the get set up one, which is really no different than we actually went through on the website. And this is live on my phone, which I'm actually showing you on my computer. And really not much difference. You can actually see up here, we have the search. We have the phone number you can contact, the little scoreboard of my activity. Uh, we've got the home icons here, not on the side, but they're on the bottom down here. And I can look for classes just as I did before. I can do the search up top. I can browse for classes. I'll just click on that. I can browse classes and I can jump in on classes that are live. I can also look at my schedule, which I had one scheduled earlier, but I guess I already took that class. But that will give you a scoreboard of uh, classes that are coming up that you have already scheduled. So I could always look at my schedule this way, or of course, go into my calendar, my electronic calendar on my um, uh, um, phone or computer or tablet. Can you mirror your phone to the TV? Absolutely. So can you cast this, if that's what you're asking for, can you cast this? Um, from your phone or tablet or computer onto a larger screen? Absolutely. If that's something that somebody just, if that's what you're asking. Okay. So again, I can browse classes down there. I can look up things through my schedule. Again, I can look at stories, which is kind of a fun thing to do when you're on your phone and you said, you know, there's, well, I got a few extra times. Let's see what some of the other, other people are doing and some of the stories that you can read about. Uh, the search is up top, right, right here, so I can do the search. I can look at the calendar for scheduling. And uh, that's really about it for the app. It's really no different than the actual website, but I wanted to give you an overview of that. Okay. So let me go back. Any questions on, on the phone or tablet or, you know, mobile, mobile access? Seem pretty straightforward. All right, good. Uh, let's go to the other link here, and that is the companion right here. When I click on that, I can actually invite, quickly invite somebody. I can book a class for them which is great, you know, maybe you got a friend or a family member. So if I click on booking for someone, uh, it, it asked, well, do they have a, uh, an account or are they a new member? Uh, they're more likely a new member. So I'm just gonna put in their first name, last name, email address, include a phone number if you'd like. This is the only thing that you have to watch out for. It's, it's important to uh, click on the down arrow to indicate where you're located. So America, we would probably go, um, let's see, we don't have Nebraska in here. I'm just curious, do we or don't we? We don't have Nebraska in here. So it would probably be somewhere close by. So I'm, I'm assuming that we'll add that one, but let's just say for, for grins, we'll just choose Indiana. And again, you would just choose their first name, last name, and email address, and if you want to include their phone number. And that's it. And they'll get uh, an invite to the class. Okay. So that's this link right here. 
And of course, you can also book for yourself. I'm a new member, same, same option. I wanna go back, book for myself. I already have an account. You would just put your email or phone number in and it would recognize you. Okay, so easy way for you to do this and we make it easier for you to invite friends or family as well to take classes with you. Because we have people that, you know, all of a sudden a class will go start off with 10 people and then they get on their WhatsApp, especially in Asia, they'll get on their WhatsApp and, you know, suddenly you've got friends and family from all over the world and you got 300 people on the class. I mean, those things happen. It's, it's pretty crazy. So any thoughts, questions, comments? Everybody tracking with me? Okay. All right. So Lee, well, just one, go ahead. Lee, just one quick mention uh, about this, this tool here. So we'll be sure to include the link uh, to you all in the post-class notes with some instruction on how it works. But the ultimate key with signing up a friend is that you can do it remotely. You don't have to be with the individual uh, walking them through it, it really kind of removes the friction from the process of someone getting started on Get Set Up. Uh, they'll re receive an email saying that they're signed up with a class that you had booked for them. So it's a great way to help someone get started uh, remotely. Does anybody want me to walk through and how to, to choose a class again, just so you, you get an idea? Does anybody want me to walk through that? Yes, no. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume no, <laughs> unless I hear otherwise. All right, well, good. So we'll just go back here. Uh, we walked through all this already. Um, just wanna make sure we covered everything. Your partner code, just so you know, is Nebraska. That is the code for uh, your you and your constituents is the partner code is Nebraska. All right. Again, if you want to sign up a friend, as uh, Max just mentioned, if you want to sign up for a friend, you can just go to the getsetupfriend.com and put in the information. That's another way you could do it through the website. We'll include that. All right. Hey, Lee, for this part, yeah. I mean, to an earlier question, and I forgot, Cynthia, if this was you or someone else, um, when you're in like a group setting, um, this is something that's really, really easy to do to help other people sign up quickly and book like their first few classes. Um, so that's also something just in terms of if you need, you know, Max or I to help kind of um, facilitate that with you all, we're happy to do so um, to show you how to, to, to do that. But we found especially with the California State Library System, um, they had you know in an in in person event, and um, at their at their little tabletop, um, you know they were able to have have this done one on one, uh, one to five, one to ten. So it's something that can be done, and we're happy to help you all with that as well. So what happens next? Uh, you receive an email from Get Set Up confirming your class. Again, that'll go into your electronic calendar. And, uh, and then the day of the class or the hour of the class, you'll get a, uh, an email with the link in there. And the link will also be in your calendar. So you'll actually be reminded and it will be in your calendar, you know, telling you the class is coming up or you just click on your calendar and there you can hit the link and join the class immediately and just enter, okay? We also have some uh, special guests and some uh, special programming that's coming uh, in April. Can you believe it's already April? This is amazing. Uh, so Healthy Earth Volunteer Month, uh, we're gonna be talking about that. We also have some guest speakers, Su Suzanne Somers. We'll be talking about National Walk Day, which is April 6th, a bit you didn't know that one. Uh, guest speakers, uh, Susan Reeves on National Stress Awareness Month, which will be April 12th. So I'm sure we'll all be tuning into that uh, unless we're stress-free because we're walking so much. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you do both. So uh, after class, uh, again, you will be getting notes. Um, 
And uh, if you don't receive notes, we will always, uh, you can always reach out to us at helpitgetsetup.io. That's our main email. Again, if you're interested in hosting a class or co-hosting a class, this is another way you can do it unless you want to fill out the form. But you can click on here and say, hey, I'm interested in co-teaching or, or, you know, teaching a class or what have you. So this is another way to, uh, to jump into this. Also, we always encourage people to tell us their stories and their experience with Get Set Up uh, and using, you know, being part of this community. And so we encourage people to send an email to social at Get Set Up and we'll have somebody in our marketing area to reach out to them personally to, um, uh, to write up a story. So um, that they will always be reminded of that. And we always encourage feedback. Uh, either they get the notes, they'll get notes after class, they'll get uh, recommendations on three classes that might fit their interest, uh, being part of the class that they were in, and they can choose and book the class right there. So we try to make it easy for them. And uh, so they'll get the notes, they get the suggestions, and then there's a feedback form, and we always encourage feedback as well. Okay. And I think that's about a wrap. Um, I didn't have any, uh, any other additional questions or comments, Michelle or Max, anything that you would like to include? No, I think that, that covers it. Um, any, any questions you guys feel free to uh, unmute yourself and ask now or, or put them in the chat. Um, as Lee mentioned as well, we'll be following up with uh, a recap of, of what we reviewed today. Um, that link for folks to apply to host a session if they're interested, uh, some April programming that we just highlighted, um, as well as the sign up a friend tool that we reviewed with step-by-step -step instruction on that. Um, and Cynthia, I know we were looking at providing the recording for this session to those who couldn't attend. So upon the recording getting finalized, I'll be sure to send that your way so you can distribute out to uh, folks who, who wanna take a look. Yeah, thanks. Um, I think. I can't remember now if you said it, but when people sign up, um, it recognizes what time zone they're in. So then it just shows time that would be relevant to them. And fun fact for you guys, Nebraska has two, two time zones. So it matters. Yeah, and also the thing to note in that too is that say you wanna go traveling, you've been inspired by one of Russ's classes it'll still recognize that you're a Nebraska learner. Um, it doesn't matter what time zone you're in. It'll show you what classes are available at that particular time, wherever you are in the world too. So um, yeah, so th I, I'm just really excited um, to have you all here and, and thank you so much Lee for your time in doing this. We love Lee. Uh, <laughs> if you ever have a chance to take his class, I know, I don't know, Cynthia, if I told you this, my mom is so hooked on classes. She's almost at her 1000 class mark after like 16 months being with Get Set Up. And one of the classes that she loved was getting your affairs in order and estate planning. And I know lately that was one of your classes as well. So um, yeah, just a lot of really great things. We hope that, you know, you can share this maybe, you know, obviously, if you're not 50 plus or 60 plus, no worries, just as, as partner contacts and staff and people that report to you, what we always encourage is that our partner partners sign up as learners. So then you're able to really kind of experience classes for the older adults that you serve. So you have a better sense of what it's like, obviously share it with your family members, anyone that's in the state of Nebraska, um, that meets the criteria of our partnership. We're just really excited to, ha to have you all come on board as another state partner with us. Thanks. Um, I have a couple of interviews already scheduled. One is Friday with um, Government Technology Magazine, which is out of California and runs nationwide. Um, and the department's going to do, I think, a Facebook Live, which will be kind of embarrassing, but anyway. Um, and then in May, I'm doing a uh, live presentation to the Nebraska Library Commission. They have a weekly um, live webinar um, with all the librarians across the state. So we're pretty excited and we've, it's generated a lot of interest. It's out on, we did a press release, uh, 
I think it went out either Friday. Well, it must have gone out Friday. Um, and it's showing up on my LinkedIn. Um, so getting lots of hits. Yeah, yeah. And just to, just to note that um, Get Set Up posted the partnership announcement on LinkedIn as well. So I know, Cynthia, what Max and I do is uh, we'll reach out, out to you offline, but just note that anytime um, you or anyone on your team is doing a press event, um, interview anything, our co-founders in particular, Lawrence, um, that is his forte. We've tagged team many a time with um, our partner contacts to do that. So just know that um, when you get those opportunities, let us know. We're happy to, to, to help you out with that. Great. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We uh, what, what a tremendous turnout. This was really, really awesome. So thank you. We look forward to uh, expanding the partnership with you and, and growing with you. So thanks so much. All right. I guess that's a wrap. Thank that's you. Wrap. Thanks again, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye, all. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome, Lee. Goodbye. Have a great day. You too. Have a good evening. <laughs>